All right, look, let's talk about the major news, okay? Dick watch, cock watch. Did you see Drake's penis, which is small to me? <laughs> yeah, that's my that's my favorite genre of like people who tweet. They're like, dude, wow, you guys think that's big? Yeah, me on the other hand, I have, uh, uh, I'm packing 15 inches, so not a big deal. It's like, I have a medical condition. Okay, dude, is this the news of the day? Drake's penis? Yes. Stop fucking crying and complaining. We're doing cock watch. You can either one, have fun with it, or two, complain and, uh, and, and be a weirdo. Okay? Yes. Yes. We're doing cock watch, dude. Okay? We're doing it. We're doing cock watch. It's like the opposite of that uh, Stavi tweet about Greek statues. Oh, ha ha. I think people actually like it when it's smaller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boyfriend dick, right? <laughs> Listen, there's no way to look at that situation with Drake and be like, and, and be the same person afterwards. Do you think if that was Drake, if Drake was a woman, this would be treated differently? Yes. The difference between fucking something being considered revenge porn and not is like how the person who is leaked uh, behaves or, or, or feels about it. It seems like due to the phenomenal reception uh, that it has received, I, I feel as though uh, Drake himself doesn't mind it. Here's what I mean. Uh, let's get started on the Adam 22 side of things. Okay. I wake up this morning. I see Drake's dick on the timeline and he's wagging that shit around. It is actually a genuinely sad moment for me. Cause I'm like, God damn it. You can't, that's fucked up. You can't be the type of dude who was in a private jet. Okay. Who is, who is a fucking multimillionaire and you're simultaneously wagging around and you got, you got hang, you got hang, like you got hang time. It's just, it's just not allowed. Okay. It's unacceptable. It's fucked up. Okay, stop talking about it. Show the penis. I am showing it to you. Okay, this is my Cuban Missile Crisis. This is my Cuban Missile Crisis. We must invade Toronto right now. Weapons of mass destruction. Weapons of ass destruction. We have to take action. Do you understand? We must take action and invade Toronto right now. You cannot be out there flying around with fucking missiles in a private jet, okay? People were saying, like, how does he pass it through TSA? That's why he has to fly private. It's fucked up. It's actually fucked up. Invade TDOT. Okay, so I see that, and it is a, it is a genuinely frustrating, uh, legitimately disappointing moment for me, because, like, uh, personally, I am a firm believer, not in karma specifically, but, like, in a, in a little bit of a balance, right? If you got it all, if you are already, like, kind of a lame dude, and you got it all, you should not be allowed to have a fat one. Okay. You should not be allowed to have a fat one. I think that's unacceptable. Like something's got to give. There's a little give. There's a little take. It's not fair. Okay. This is the man that said, I feel like I'm bi because you're one of the guys. Yeah. Like he just sings way too much. Like he, he, he just sings like the way he sings makes me feel like that's not the penis that uh, is appropriate for a man who sings like that. Like what's that one rapper who like can't fucking talk like there's that one rapper who's just who has also a missile that Aiden Ross was like also dick riding no it wasn't it's not NBA it's not Young Thug none of those guys no 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 it's not Kodak it's like he is just a NLE chopper okay NLE chopper has a fucking massive penis and he carries himself he carries himself like a dude with a massive penis okay so when you see NLE chopper if you see an interview of NLE Choppa, okay, and then you find out that he has, like, an absolute fucking meat missile, you're like, that makes so much sense. Like, this is, like, he's the classic archetype of uh, a, a skinny dude with a fat hog. This is, like, uh, this is a, this is a most commonplace thing, okay? Let me see if I can find it. What is that? That famous, like, he's on the beach or something? This is the most homosexual stream of all time. There is nothing more homoerotic while also simultaneously being heterosexual uh than than meat watching that's it that is like no no the nle chopper interview is not has nothing to do with his penis it's just like him trying to respond to a person and having a hard time responding nothing gay about admiring human anatomy no it's gay as hell dude what do you mean we're meat watching we are meat watching that's crazy that is the gayest shit you can do but like it is also an incredibly, uh, it is also an incredibly heterosexual uh, thing that people do as well. It's just still homoerotic. But yeah, here, this is the bar, hey, first of all. Talking, I, I don't really say this often, but this long dick nigga ain't for the long talking, I be. Like, like, just dude, look, first of all, this lyric is real, it turns out, okay? 
is real, it turns out. But, like, look at him. Look at him. Like, this is what I mean. There is no, there is no world in which you look at this line and look at this dude and go, that's a dude with a big dick, okay? It just doesn't make any sense. It does not make sense. Oh, here, this is the one I was thinking of, maybe? Well, today I'm in here with Annalie Chopper. Where, what music were you surrounded by as a kid? The wrong music. Right. This is why I wanted to make music. Mm. Like music, you know. Yeah, dude, th this is what happens when your penis is so large that all the blood flow is restricted. Like, it's just going directly to your dick. So, it's like, it's like the Dick Cheney phenomena, right? Like, Dick Cheney has a fat hog, right? And because he has such a fucking fat hog that, like, he's had to get, like, 11 heart surgeries. Like, he's had... Dick Cheney basically is operating on borrowed time since, like, 1957, okay? Why? Because too much blood flow to the dick is restricting the blood flow to the heart. So he had to, like, go murder babies and take, like, baby hearts and put it inside of his heart instead, okay? It makes sense. There's a give and take. I totally get why NLE Chopper has a missile, right? But when it comes down to Drake, it's like, it doesn't make sense. I don't know how else to describe it other than the fact that it just simply does not make sense. He does not have the energy of a dude with a big dick. He does not have big dick energy. You keep saying the same thing for the past 40 minutes. Yeah, bro, I'm fucking pissed. And I need people to understand it, okay? I need people to understand that there is, there is no God. There is no justice. And also... It doesn't make sense that Drake, being Drake, being the type of dude he is, okay, is packing. Is packing a heater missile, is packing a cruise missile, is fucked up. Now, um, beyond that, what is this broski's fuck OnlyFans? Drizzy just gave us fat material for a whole week. Is he the baddest in the game right now? If you say no, name who is. He didn't actually tweet this, but he thought it, okay? He thought it. I believe that he thought it. Canadian humble dick energy? Yeah. So... The, the other part of this, of course, is that uh, we didn't know if this was the case or not. Turns out, turns out, and I hate to, to recognize this, but Adam22 was right. I can't believe I'm saying this even, okay? Adam22 have talked about this before, uh, apparently, on No Jumper on his podcast about, like, how he was meat watching. And then, uh, hold on, there's even a funnier moment, but here... Adam 22's bold claim about Drake having a missile on What's him crazy confirmed. Is the other day I was around this girl. And she just showed me Drake's d on her phone. It's crazy. And I'm just Yo, like, wow. <laughs> Dub's like, Where I'm uncomfortable. No, go? I'm just, it, it was just go? like, <laughs> somehow this, this, this just randomly came up and she's just showing me. And I'm not believing it. And she could tell I'm not believing it. I'm like, yeah, all right. She goes right back to her, uh, her text messages, scrolls through the rest of it, shows me a bunch of other selfies and like photos of him that I've never seen before. And I'm just like, what the f And then like, you know, she's still trying to prove it to me more. She goes to the Instagram DM, shows me the full Instagram history with the DM, the, the blue check, whatever. Oh, my God. I don't know this girl to be a psychopathic liar or anything, but she showed me and the skin color matched up with the skin color that I would think that Drake's would actually be. <laughs> this is such a dumb thing to say. And I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm sure you're wondering right now, Adam, was it big? Was it small? The man's got a missile on him. <laughs> like uh, like a, a, a baby arm, uh, if you will. So that shit didn't make sense, uh, obviously, when he first said it. But it turns out he was right, okay? He saw that, and he's right. It is a baby arm. It is a fucking child's thermos, okay? It's a third leg, and it's fucked up. But let me tell you, here's what, here's what actually did it in, okay? Here's what genuinely confirmed it. Oh my God! No, wait. Can I see, please? Can I get the link? Thank you. Oh Hold on one sec. I'm gonna send him a voice memo. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, uh, start this part of the conversation by explaining to you really quickly that you are about to see a new level of dick riding. Okay. Now, as as much as I just talked about Drake's penis for the past 46 minutes, okay. What Aiden Ross is about to do takes it to the next level, okay? 
You know when people say, oh, he's doing tricks on it, he's blowing bubbles on it? Like, it's something different than that. I feel like it's in the same metaphysical space as blowing bubbles on it, but it's something more than that. What do I mean by this? I think we've unlocked a new level of dick eating, dick riding, blowing bubbles on it that is somehow, and I mean this, way gayer than if he actually just sucked Drake's dick. This is the type of shit that like, God, I wish Austin was here right now. Like this is, this is so much that, that like, I feel like, I don't know. He's just, it's just, you'll see, you'll see what I mean. Okay. One second. Yeah, bro. I'm still alive, bro. We, we, we were just looking at the shit. It's like crazy, bro. Like, God damn. You're He's sending a voice memo to Drake after looking at his penis with the boys. You're blessed with your voice. You're blessed with performing. You're blessed to be you. You're blessed to be number one. But you're also blessed to have a fucking missile. <laughs> I said, it. bro, we literally, I said it to him. we literally, we literally <laughs> just saw it. No you said that. Swear to God, you guys, swear to God. You might notice another familiar voice in the background there. Which, by the way, I mean, look, if you're gonna do dick watch with the boys, you gotta have train rank on. Look, he might hate me. Okay, he might be, he might have, uh, you know, made me to be a villain in his mind or some shit. He might be out of his fucking mind. But if there's one thing. I'll, I will be honest about forever. It is that, let me tell you something, okay? If there's a guy, if there is a guy that you, he's like one of those, it's like one of those like very random areas of expertise, okay? This is Train's area of expertise is cock watch. He is the, he is the cock watching expert. Uh, we just saw a goat's dick. <laughs> is it? Wait, that's on his no, jet? No. Yeah, it's on his jet. Yeah, but his is real, but like, it is possible, Jesus. Oh, he was don't flying. See oh. Oh, he just texted me. He put like eight <laughs> laughing emojis. <laughs> he doesn't care? <laughs> shit, I wouldn't either. If my shit was like that, well, God, I wouldn't Yeah, care. bro. Chat. He said this might be my next album intro. Oh, great. Well, hey, at least he made the cut. Wait, let me hear it again, Cheezer. Hold on, listen. Yeah, bro, I'm still alive, bro. We, 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 we were just looking at the shit. It's like crazy, bro. Like, God damn. You're blessed with your voice. You're blessed with performing. You're blessed to be you. You're blessed to be number one. But you're also blessed to have a fucking missile. You're a laughing emoji? Yeah, he loved it. He loved it. That's facts, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, how the fuck does Aiden know Drake like this? Because he's a steak guy. Drake is... The reason why I jokingly said Drake is my enemy is because he's also like Steak's number one roll dog. He is literally sponsored by Steak. That's why he has like unparalleled, Aiden Ross's unparalleled levels of access to motherfucking Drake. Yeah, dude, he's a crypto gambling uh, fiend. TikTok flaming Aiden. Yeah, dude, this has 600,000 hearts. Okay, 600,000 likes. Like, chatters yesterday were like, why are you talking about this? It's like, bro, are you fucking crazy? This is literally like, this is huge news for Gen Z. Okay, just like Drake's dick is also huge news for Gen Z. So many people don't know that Anita Max win meme is him saying, uh, I need a Max win because he's so gamba rotted. Yeah. Yeah, no, he is like, he does the steak shit. He does the steak shit like uh, like Morgan Freeman does movies. You know what I mean? It's like, like why are you clinging on for dear life at this point? Like, shouldn't you have already made out like a bandit? Like, why the fuck? Why are you uh? Why are you doing this?